following the perfect recipe already has it sticking to the bottom of the pot and burning. How is the drive? The middle of date night drive. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Real McNeils and our weekend vlog. As soon as it's a little bit warm outside, these girls are out here making mud. Yeah, I have a friend coming over tomorrow, so this whole thing here is going to have to be cleaned off. I think it's also going to move bath day to today instead of tomorrow, hey? trying not to tell the girls that they can't do that but <laughs> you know when I was a kid I did it out in my fort out behind my parents house it never got tracked in the house like this it was never on my parents patio oh not super excited about the mud I'm not gonna lie here um hello no 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 what are we supposed to do I don't know do you didn't didn't really think that through, did you? Oh, no. oh boy. I took the dog for a super long walk. Turns out I didn't actually have enough energy to do that. <laughs> so we were both so tired by the time that we got home. Kind of had a bit of a snack here. And she's passed out on the floor, which is kind of funny. Because Addie's hoodie is the best place to lay, isn't it, Coco? Yeah. And while I was gone, these guys made some advancements down here in the basement. Oh, the outlet is going back in and everything. We were talking about, I was saying about how it makes this room look so much smaller. Kind of closes everything in. And this is still torn apart because we still have to work on this one over here. Before any of the drywall can go up. But it looks good, you guys. It's a lot harder than it looks. They're really heavy. And awkward. And it's time for supper. It's Clancy has been slow cooking some short ribs. Last time I made short ribs, they turned out terrible. They were really awful. They were super duper fatty. So we were determined that when we did them again, we would do them differently to try and cook out a bunch of the fat. So Clancy found a recipe. He spent quite a while looking for one and he found a recipe that kind of slow cooks it all day here. And then at the end, you'll throw them in the frying pan, fry them up, make them nice and crisp and put a kind of sweet and sticky sauce on them. So that's what we're doing for supper tonight. And I have really been wanting coconut rice, so I found a recipe for coconut rice. I was just wishing that I had kefir lime leaves. Apparently that makes these taste a lot better. And I don't, but that's okay. We're gonna go for it anyway. So I'm in the process of making my coconut rice. One of the tips they give is to wash your rice out and then soak it for 15 minutes. So I have it soaking, I have a timer going. The other thing I read is to do a one-to-one -one ratio when you're doing coconut rice, which I didn't know. So um, I think I'm using recipe tin eats. And so I'm going to open up this can of coconut milk, add the amount of water that I need, which is I think this full can and then about a half a cup of water. With all of the things I make, I actually feel kind of silly needing a recipe for coconut rice, but I feel like I always end up adding a bunch of water and then it ends up gluey or it sticks to the bottom of the pot or things like that. So I am actually following this recipe so that I can hopefully have it turn out the way that I want it to. You can hear it making noise in the pot. Not sure if I picked it up or not, but you can totally hear it in there. I have no idea what it's doing because that has never happened to me before, but you know, there's a first time for everything. So medium high heat because apparently you don't want to bring it to boil on a high, which obviously is something that I've done before. So maybe that has led to my issues with my coconut rice. I don't know, but we're going to do it over medium high. You stand here and then you give it one stir and then you put the lid on and let it sit for 14 minutes. So. 
Here's hoping, you guys. Hopefully I make the best coconut rice I've ever made. Following the perfect recipe already has it sticking to the bottom of the pot and burning. I don't know if it's my brand of coconut milk or what it could be, but it's totally, I just started it because it has started simmering and it's totally stuck to the bottom of the pot in a hot mess. So I'm not sure. Apparently this didn't help me make the perfect coconut rice and now I don't know what to do because I think it's back to sticking again. Clancy has the spare ribs going. There is so much fat sitting on top of that. And now he's just frying them up to crisp them. And you have a sweet and sticky sauce for them? Short ribs, not spare. Short ribs. I think I said short ribs earlier, but this time I said spare ribs. I think spare ribs would be easier because with the short ribs, Clancy keeps dumping off the grease because there's so much fat on them. It sounds like it's going to be messy too. It's explosive fat frying over there. This is proving to be a little harder than anticipated. These things are just spitting everywhere and making such a mess. There is grease absolutely everywhere. Oh, spare rib dinner, you better be worth it. Sure. 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 Rib. Spare ribs are way easier. <laughs> they are way easier than this. I don't know why I keep messing it up. We've got fans going. I don't know if the camera captures it, but it's a it's a little smoky in here. There, I think. Can you see Kieran through the haze over there? And to top things off, quick update on the coconut rice is that it didn't work either. It totally stuck to the bottom of the pot and it's crunchy. And it's too far in to add water and try to get it to cook a little bit more. I have thought about tossing it in the microwave, but I don't think that's gonna work either. So apparently I still can't make coconut rice. And for all of those out there that know me and my ability to cook and bake, it kind of is funny that I cannot make coconut rice that isn't like burnt or not cooked all the way through. I know how to cook, I know how to bake. This is driving me crazy. You regular rice normal, just fine. I know, I make right, it's something, maybe it's our coconut milk brand. I might have to buy a different one, but this is supposed to be a really good quality one. The meat looks really good, and we'll just pretend that's pepper in the rice, not burnt coconut rice again. Again? Are you going to eat coconut rice? <gasps> You're having regular rice? We're getting the table cleared, the dog ridden, apparently, and the dish is done. And we have this old loaf of bread that is like literally super duper days. crunchy. You were going to eat it? It wasn't possible. Do you see how hard this is? It's, it is more than crusty. But Clancy loves bread pudding, so I'm going to make bread pudding out of it to kind of end this spectacular meal. Everything tasted really good, just didn't look the best. So I've whipped up a custard to go on top of it, use up this old bread. Clancy loves bread pudding, so it's kind of a treat for him and whoever else wants it. I'll try it, but I'm not a big fan of bread pudding because it's mushy bread. Guess who Tiggy just found on the table, just uh, chillaxing with the cups. What you doing, kitty -o? This is a solid no. No, 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 no. So we were sitting there watching a movie, The Hazards of Trying to Have Date Night in the living room, and Kieran all of a sudden comes up the stairs and asks if Clancy wants to go for a drive. So Clancy is now out for a drive. We looked at the clock and it's 10 o'clock. So Kieran wants to go out for a drive at 10 o'clock. Uh, he has his driver's test in, I think, two days. It is Monday morning. So Cato and I are chilling. He's kind of headed to bed. It's just kind of funny to, uh, to head out for a drive at 10 o'clock at night in the middle of date night. How was the drive? The middle of date night drive. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Karen's doing great. It's kind of funny. It's, yeah. Like I said before, it'd be nice to get the basement done so that there's kind of like a, a different place for people to go. But it was really quite hilarious to have him just come upstairs and be like, hey, let's go for a drive. And it's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> but he's almost there. And then he won't need us anymore. And that'll be kind of weird, too. Yeah. yeah. Love you. Love you. We're going to go and try and finish date night, but it's almost 11 o'clock. And last date night, I actually fell asleep. 
which wasn't very nice, but it wasn't a very good movie anyway. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you soon. Bye.